Hi hey everyone, Major Frenchie. Welcome. Today I'm starting a new series called Duff Links Coding. Uh, this is actually not going to be a typical tutorial. I mostly am going to walk you through my workflow on how to add effects via Duff Links in a future pinball table. Now, if you wish to apply effects, uh, for example, it's going to be the solenoids, the you know shaker motor, the gear motor, the fan the five LED flash bar, and even addressable LED applied to a future pinball table, uh, this is the tutorial you will need. I'm going to talk about the different steps that you're going to need to, to go through in order to make this happen. Now, I'm not going to teach you guys the, like, the fundamentals of how Dufflink works and how DOF works. I, I'm assuming that you will be familiarizing yourself with these concepts. And I just want to go through a few points here uh, just to make sure that before you even attempt to do this, uh, you will grasp those concepts. Cool. Let's cool. just start with uh, knowing how the table works. So before you even attempt to apply effects to a table, know the table. Know what you know events are triggered, know what's happening on the table, uh, kind of know where all the you know the layout of the table is in general. Typically, what I do is I'll play like the table quite a bit, familiarize myself with the table, and I will record a video of the table. So, like for let's say a minute or so, so I can actually keep that as a reference. If I have any question while I'm coding, I don't have to load the table to see what does what. Also, before you even attempt to start coding the table, ask the authorization to the original author if he's okay with you coding the table because it's just a you know it's just respect uh, you just don't want to step on anybody's toes and if the you know the author says yes then go ahead with your mod uh, also uh, know how to set up duff links on your system so obviously before you apply duff links to a table know how duff links works uh, there's tons of tutorials i made some terry red has some in each part of the videos i'm going to show you guys i will have in the description all the different links of the different concepts or software or videos I'm going to talk about. Also, know the different functions, right? Like I said, trigger, timer, command, found in a table. Also, one thing that will help you in the long run for coding is knowing the sound. So know the sound of the tables, like which sound gets triggered because a lot of time you can apply a trigger based on a sound. And finally, just understand DOF and online DOF config tool because this will be required when we apply the uh, different effects via DOF for the uh, addressable LEDs. Now I'm going to, I, I have no idea how long this series is going to be. Uh, I'm just sharing my workflow uh, on how I code my future pinball tables. I've coded, I don't know, but probably like, 10 so far so it might not be the best way but it is my way the way I do it and I'm just going to share that with you so uh, here's how the series is gonna be I'm gonna split the different videos in a couple of parts and uh, the first part is adding duff links code to the table uh, just to start you know enabling all the different functions for duff links then we're gonna go a step at a time we're going to add the flipper effects so your solenoids is triggered. Same thing, uh, slingshot, bumpers, kickers. So all these are different effects that are involving the solenoids or the contactors. So we're going to talk about adding flash bar effects and also different functions in the table. For example, if you're hitting a target, uh, you may want to you know, trigger something. It, it, it's up to you. Uh, table toys like fans, shaker, or gear motor. So we're going to talk about that in the uh, the video. Uh, the next video, uh, we're going to talk about flashing buttons. So inserting a coin, you know, will make your start button flash. And then when you hit the start button flash, then the launch button is going to be next and it's going to start flashing. So we're going to talk about that. Uh, the in lane and the out lane triggers in the table. Next, we're going to talk about events, multi-ball, completed targets, and uh, completing like a uh, series of, of letters to be completed. Uh, and then also we're going to talk about the drain, uh, different effects that you can apply when the ball drains. 
In the other video, episode three, uh, we're going to talk about addressable LEDs. So addressable LEDs uh, is going to be a big topic because um, there is a lot to consider and uh, I'm going to point you towards good resource uh, for this and then we're going to have our saver, uh, Terry Red. Uh, he's came up with a sheet and that we're going to talk about that. Uh, so uh, basically you will need a rum once you get to the addressable LEDs, I'm going to talk about this. Uh, the ROM callout in the script. Uh, again, Terry Red's DOF config sheet. We're going to talk about this. Uh, my modified version of Terry's sheet, uh, which I'm going to share with you guys. Uh, also, now we're going to start about applying effects for the addressable LED when the ball is ready. Uh, you've probably seen the addressable LED going up and down on the side strip. So this is what the ball ready is. Launch ball when the strip goes from the bottom to up and it lights up as the ball flies out. So this is what we're going to talk about. The dot matrix effects, uh, we're going to touch on that and different combos for the uh, different you know targets or for the different effects that are being applied in the table. Then we're going to touch base on the under cab addressable LEDs, how to apply the effects. And the final episode, uh, we're going to talk about adding finally the code that you're going to generate for this into the RUM in testing the toys and dufflinks and also publishing your mod onto a site so people can enjoy your mod in the table. So in a nutshell, this is how the series is going to go. Um, it's going to, like I said, I have no idea how long each episode is going to take, but I'm, I'm, I want to stress this. I'm not going to teach you guys how to, you know, how Dufflink works. Like, I'm assuming that you will do your homework and you'll know how Dufflink works because once we get in the coding, you, you, you got to know this stuff. So, but I'm going to give you some tricks on where to get the information and then how to apply these different effects in the table. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.